Hello everyone, this is Nathan and this is my take and I am here to put to rest a myth that's been going through the Nebraska fan base, especially that's been popularized by Bo Leavers since the firing of Bo Pelini. First off, I want to give a shout out to YouTube user Bachelor Fan who wanted to know my opinion of what I think of the idea that Bo Pelini's first seven seasons are at all comparable to Tom Osborne's first seven seasons. And I'd like to give a negative shout out as well to another individual that decided to comment on a video of mine, Angel Venge. You, I'm, usually I don't respond to comments on my YouTube channel, but this one was especially enlightening. And I felt that it was the perfect opening to segue into this subject. I'll quote from the message. <clears throat> Dear Nathan, you are extremely ignorant. Look up statistics of Bo, Osborne, and Devaney. Long story short, in these last seven seasons, we are better under Bo. Yeah, you are an idiot, and I am ashamed that you cheer for my team when you clearly have a PhD in stupidity. Well, Miss Angel, I do have a PhD in stupidity. It's why I am so capable of seeing it in other people. Really, you want to make the statement that we are better under Bo Pelini than we were under the first seven seasons of Tom Osborne. You wanted me to crunch the numbers on this. You wanted me to look at the statistics. Long story, and you assumed that the long story short, it would show that Bo Pelini was better. So I did. I crunched the numbers. Now, I only did it for Tom Osborne. Bob Devaney had a very similar record. I didn't crunch the numbers quite as in-depth with him because, let's face it, Bob Devaney was building a dead program that hadn't been good since before World War II, and Bo Pelini was merely resurrecting a program that had talent already, had the fan base and the facilities in place. He wasn't building a dead program, he was reviving a comatose one. So, the comparison of Tom Osborne to Bo Pelini. Let's look at some of the numbers here. Tom Osborne had an had an overall record of 65-18-2 in his first seven seasons at Nebraska. Now, that's with them playing 12 games a year. Bo Pelini had a record of 56-28, and 28, playing 13 or 14 games a year. That is a, that is a substantial number there. 65 wins versus 56. 18 losses versus 28 losses. That's a pretty substantial gap right there. All right, let's move to the next category. Uh, record against teams which finished in the AP t poll. Now, the AP only started ranking teams in the top 25 in 1989. So these rankings for Tom Osborne are only the top 20, not 25 teams. Tom Osborne's record against top 25 teams in his first seven seasons is a very respectable 11 and 12. That's nearly breaking 500. And if I would have, and if I would have counted teams that just missed the pull, the top 20, teams that were also receiving votes that would be top 25 in today's poll, he would be at 12 and 12. Bo Pelini's record, on the other hand, is an abysmal 5-16. and 16. So, no. No. 5-16. and 16. That's, his, that's the best he's done at seven seasons at Nebraska. As I said in a, in a previous video, only two of those wins came against top 15 teams, and none of them came against top 10 opponents. Um... The highest final ranking in the season. What, what do you think was the highest final rank for both coaches? I'll give you a second to, to ponder this. All right, your second's up. Tom Osborne's highest finished rank in the AP was 7. Bo Pelini's highest ranking was 14. So again, not better in that regard. Not better in that regard at all. The lowest rank that these that these coaches ever had at finishing were as follows. Tom Osborne, number 12, Bo Pelini, not ranked. So, realize what I'm saying there. 
Tom Osborne's worst season is better than Bo Pelini's best season. The worst Tom Osborne ever finished was 12th in his first seven seasons. The best Bo Pelini ever finished was 14th. Ah, uh, years finished in the top 10. Tom Osborne finished in the top 10 six times out of six years out of seven. That's incredible. Six out of seven? Bo Pelini has never finished in the top 10. Top 10, top 15 finish every single year Tom Osborne was coach for those first seven years. He finished in the top 15. Bo Pelini, only once. Conference titles. Osborne had two of them. One in 1975 and one in 1978. Bo Pelini has zero. And the highest ranked team that Osborne beat was number two Alabama in 1978. Pelini, number 13 Oklahoma State in 2010. So, message to Angel, Venge, and any Bo Lever out there that wants to make a comparison between Bo and Tom, what is your argument? Where are your facts? Where are your statistics? What are you basing that on? Because every single time I look at this, it tells me that Tom Osborne was leaps and bounds ahead of Bo Pelini. Not even the same stratosphere. I know what you're doing. You're trying to build Bo Pelini up to Tom Osborne's level. But that's not what you're doing. You're tearing Tom Osborne down to Bo's level is what you're doing. It's incredibly disrespectful to the job that Tom Osborne was able to do. It's disrespectful. It's wrong. It's straight up ignorant is what it is. This isn't even a matter of debate. This isn't a matter of opinion. If you are comparing Tom Osborne and Bo Pelini, you are wrong. Period. End of story. I'm not even going to entertain that idiotic notion. That is not something that is even remotely true. So if, if you have it in your head that Bo Pelini and Tom Osborne are in any way, shape, or form comparable, you, my friend, you are ignorant of the facts. Notice I'm not calling you stupid. I'm sure Miss Angel Venge is not a stupid person. She's just ignorant of the facts. I'm sure all the Bo, the Bo Leavers out there who are upset about this recent coaching change, who wish Bo could have stayed, who wanted him to stay, and who are comparing him to Tom Osborne as a way to build him up, I'm sure they're not stupid either. They're just ignorant of the facts. That's the only logical explanation for such comparisons. Because if they were well informed of the records both coaches had, then they would not even dare compare the two. I'm sorry, but this isn't a matter of opinion. This isn't a matter of discussion. Whether or not to fire Bo is a matter of opinion. But comparing Bo to Tom and saying that they are, that having the goal to say that Bo was better, that's wrong. That's just incorrect. There's no other way to say it. It's incorrect and ignorant as hell and it's disrespectful to the amazing job Tom Osborne was able to do. So that's my take on that. Stop comparing Bo to Tom Osborne. That's all I got to say. My name is Nathan, and this has been my take. Have a good one.